When two or more blood relatives are affected by pulmonary fibrosis, this is known as familial pulmonary fibrosis, also called FPF. As we continue to learn about this form of PF, it is important to know that there is simply not one gene or one variant that causes FPF. Inherited gene variants in two important pathways are known to be related to FPF. The more frequent variants are often in genes that are related to protecting the telomeres. Telomeres are specialized structures located at the ends of chromosomes that serve to protect our chromosomes throughout our lifetime. Variants in several telomere regulatory genes have been discovered and account for about 20 to 30% of FPF cases. Variants in surfactant genes are less common and also account for about 1 to 3% of familial cases. Common variants are defined as being present in about 5% or more of healthy individuals, but are found more frequently in patients with IPF. While these variants can also be passed down in families, they are thought to have a less direct impact on the development of IPF compared to the rare variants in the telomere regulatory and surfactant genes. A harmful variant in only one copy of the pair of known genes is enough to cause or increase the risk for FPF in a person. When a parent has this gene variant, each child has about a 50% chance of inheriting this abnormal gene. If a child inherits the abnormal disease gene, that does not necessarily mean that they will develop FPF, but the risk increases significantly. Different families have different gene variants, and knowing the specific variants present in a family is critical to directing genetic testing. Patients with FPF should seek genetic evaluation and counseling to be educated about the risks and the benefits of genetic testing. This will determine if any genetic testing is appropriate. Variations in genes can be confusing and may not provide a simple answer to whether this is the reason a person has FPF or not. Even negative results do not rule out an inherited risk. If genetic testing is being considered, it is recommended to test the person with the diagnosis instead of testing an unaffected family member. Testing is currently not recommended for patients without FPF or for those asymptomatic family members or for minors. It is important to remember that currently a gene variant responsible for FPF will only be found in about 20 to 30% of patients. Up to 80% of patients will test negative for the currently known genes. There are other genes yet to be discovered that also run in families. For more information and support, please visit pulmonaryfibrosis.org.